Anytime I bring this topic up in conversation, some people believe that I'm just being paranoid. But our phones and our devices really are listening to what we say. So in this video, I thought I'd like to tell you about a little test that I did just to see whether our phones, devices and apps on said devices are listening to what we say. And just as a heads up, I have a partner for this video, NordVPN, more about them a little bit later. So many people debate the idea as to whether our devices are really actively listening to us. Now, of course, devices like iPhone are listening for Siri, and some devices made by Amazon have got a name that I won't say because everybody gets upset because it sets yours off in the background, because for some reason it's not very particular to anybody's voice. So, of course, they are listening for that degree. but. Are they really listening for any other kind of ads and placements? Which is also another very good point with my partner for this video, which again, I'll come back to a little bit later. So our devices certainly are listening to us, at least in my experience. So we decided to run a little test and turn off any kind of safety features and VPNs. Again, I'll come back to that in a moment. But we decided to turn all these off and just talk about a completely random subject that we hadn't talked about before. So we talked about health insurance, and we talked about it for a good 20 minutes. The idea of buying it, where we would buy it from, what we were looking to spend on it, what we'd be prepared to spend on it, reasons we might have it, what age it might be the best age to get this at. By the way, this is not in any way sponsored by any health insurance company. If any health insurance marketing directors happen to be watching, feel free to get in touch. But no, so we were talking about this for a good 20 minutes, and we then gave it a day. We then talked about it a little bit more. And whilst we were doing this, we only really had one of the devices in the room. This was part of the test. So we didn't have any devices linked to me, only to my dear wife over on Easy Chinese Cooking, which I will link in the description below. And so we were talking about this for a good 20 minutes or so. And then eventually, about 36 hours later, I start getting adverts for medical insurance. And not just one advert, and not just one platform, on various platforms. Now, there's a number of different things going on here. Because not only was the device quite clearly, obviously, listening to what we were saying, but then not only quite clearly sharing that information on some kind of networking, marketing, database, or something or other, but also knew to then start marketing the thing to me. Now, I found that a little bit bizarre, because not only does my wife not really use many different apps, Instagram perhaps, but not excessively, but there would have to be some further steps behind the scenes, collating and using and sharing and moving around our data, in order for it then to know to target me. Unless, of course, it's just all IP-based, in which case they had the IP address because I turned off NordVPN, which I've mentioned to you in previous videos. Because many of you know that I genuinely do use NordVPN and it keeps my devices safe and secure because it obscures your IP address, it allows you to browse safely online, it will even monitor what's known as the dark web for leaks of your data. Because if your information has been leaked and shared around or even sold, then NordVPN will alert you to the leak so you can go to the relevant website and change your password. And if you've used that password anywhere else, make sure that you change that password on every other website that you use it. Because the chances are, if your information has been leaked, then quite clearly they will be able to use that on lots of different websites if you use the same password, which I don't recommend. And so if you want that sort of peace of mind, you can see the link on screen, which I'll put in the description below. Go and join there and sign up with my exclusive discount with a money back guarantee offered by Nord. And with just one account, you can install to up to six different devices so you can protect all of your pieces of equipment all with one account. But moreover, it's the privacy aspect that I use NordVPN to protect, which my little experiment here has really shown to be the case. Because turning it off just for a short while while talking about these things seems to have made our devices listen to what we were doing and clearly share that information with other marketers. And particularly if you're out and about a lot, you travel, you're on trains, or you're in coffee shops, you really had ought to take advantage of my exclusive discount at the link in the description below so that you can protect your 
yourself and your devices when you're traveling around from other people tracking you online. And the second somewhat unbelievable story that I have to tell you is someone that kindly sent me an email that they've received purporting to be from TV licensing. It's this email here that said TV licensing refund notification. It says that they were going to receive a refund of 103 pounds and seven pence. It sounds like it's being specifically calculated and therefore it's more likely to sound correct. Only obviously when you've got this get refund button here and they confirm that the receiver email address is correct, which obviously I've blanked out for the purposes of this video, you are more likely to think this is real, you are more likely to click get refund, and then of course you're going to end up on a website which is going to ask for your details and probably your bank details to receive this refund. Obviously if you receive an email like this, don't even click the link because it's obviously going to be a phishing scam to get your details, and as I always say in all of my videos, please do not click these links in emails. But this one was particularly clever, in my view, hats off to the people actually sending these out, but in the from line of this email, ignore the to line, I've obscured that for the security of this video and the person that sent it to me, but in the from line, it says no reply at tvlicensing.co.uk, which looks exactly like the correct email address. However, that's not the email address, that's the name given to the account that this is being sent from. However, the actual email is this ecom-u1 at xexmyb.com, some garbage email address. So this is quite clearly a fraudulent scam email. So again, if you receive this, don't do anything with it other than delete it and hit spam and report it as a phishing attempt. But if you were or had been in the unfortunate position of having clicked one of these things, again, if you use NordVPN and you click through to that, it's going to tell you that it's a malicious website and don't go any further. And so it will block those websites and prevent you from going any further. So again, use my discount in the description below. I am very fortunate to be partnered with Nord to bring you this exclusive discount. So check that out and keep yourself safe online. In the meantime, I thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe. Please make sure you like this video before you leave and subscribe. And as always, I see you next time.